Hey guys, it's Marty here from Off Grid. Outside today, I uh, wanted to take you through one of our very first uh, Gen 2 X3s. Uh, so we're just gonna give you a quick rundown today um, and take you around and show you how it looks. So I'll just run through a few features here on the X3. So a big change is uh, the actual drawbar itself. So it's come standard with a 200 mil extension on the extended drawbar. A three-way jockey wheel as well. And then coming into your man cave, opens up we've got the barbecue barbecue swing you've got your utility shelf in there bottom jack some storage holders and your main override switch in here for your central locking also as standard comes with two gas bottle holders now and easy access into them as well so a bit of a difference from this one from the gen 1 to the gen 2 and one on this side as well So a great feature now on the X3 Gen 2 is this top bench in the kitchen. So you've got there just above the sink there. Still have all your appliances in to get into. And your drawer system here. So we still have our same 75 litre dual zone uh, fridge freezer. And then inside the fr uh, fridge compartment, we have our P-Core uh, dust filter in there. Coming to the kitchen bench, we have our new gas struts there, so no more wires. Makes it easy, up and down, locks into place. Coming through, you've got the same Red Vision, but with the Rogue system now, so the updated Red Arc system. Still got our airbags, our electric actuator for our uh, tent. You've got your USB auxiliary outlets and your main inlets here. So to use your shore power and your inverter. And then we have our draw system on bungee cords, pulls out. All the stuff that comes with it. Nice black finish on them now. And then we have our three burner cooker, or two burner and grill underneath with our wind walls, especially on a day like today. And then lastly, to close it up with our central locking, just push in on both sides and all locked in. All right, let's go inside and check it out. So as we have here, our slide out table. Got a nice, plenty of room in here for two people. So you have storage under each compartment as well, and then access to our trundle drawer as well. So one of the best features are the heat outlets um, positioned all around the camper. So it will make it nice and toasty inside here as well during those cold winter days or out in the desert in those freezing cold nights. The size of the mattress in the X3 is an oversized double, so double in width, but oversized in length. Also a great feature inside here now is that the poles are on the outside. So it gives us so much more space and opens up that in-room sitting area feeling that you've got a lot more room inside here, overhead, it's a clean finish. We've got our zone lighting inside as well, so you can turn all zones off and on uh, via the app control as well. So standing on the outside of the X3 now, you've got a two-way entry point, one via the left and then run at the rear here with your staircase. Now you've got your little awning as well that peeks out, you've got your two poles, that gives you that little bit of clearance as well. So one of the cool features about the uh, X3 is the new wheels that they're running. So we've got a 17 by nine uh, signature series rim now through P-Core. And also we're running 12 inch electric brakes on them. So bigger braking capacity compared to the Gen 1s there. Lastly to finish up, our water. They've now pulled it out so it's easier access for everybody to get to. So our water here, 150 liters. And also going forward as well, you've got your Anderson input for your solar and your outlet for your air compressor as well. All right, guys, that's a quick little run through on the X3 there. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below or get in contact with us here at uh, Off Grid. Uh, we're always happy to help out. And if you are looking at wanting to get into a Gen 2 X3 or X1, please give us a call, um, get in contact with us. We're more than happy to help out and get you into one.